There you go now, fellas. Here we go. We've got something new, something different. This has just been released in Australia. There's probably 4,000 different things being released in Australia lately. As you know, all those beers every day, there's a new one. Well, here we go with a new tequila. Los Osuna. Reposado. 40%. 100%. Blue agave. All right, this one. I might put me onto this. His local um, bottle shop. He went down there and asked him to get a different tequila in, and he got it in and. The guy said, oh, we'll try this. They're trying to break in the market. They're doing an introductory price, 50 bucks a bottle. Two for 90. So I gave him 45 the other day and I went and picked it up today. We had a shot together when, we, uh, when I grabbed it off him. And I've come home to have another little couple of sneaky ones. I've just had a, another one, so... And I'm just having beers as well at the same time. And I just cooked up that feast and I just really enjoyed that. Uh, you probably have to be married to a Thai woman almost to know that dish. Even though I'm not. But Nam Plik Kapi is uh, pretty well right out there. Here we go with the, the Stoke NPA. This is the aromatic Nelson Pale Ale. Now I'm just showing you what I'm going to do here is I, I like having a, a beer and a, a couple of shots together. The beer chasers, that's always good I reckon. But I'll tell you what got me today was this beer. Because I had one, of course. I've had a couple of another one and a few other bits and pieces. But anyway, this beer, look at the head on it. Fantastic head, and what what's even better is uh, the taste. The taste delicious. Well done. Great nose. Oh, it's like creamy, and it's almost like a hint of that really good Manuka honey. For some reason, it's just got this hint of honey. Um, it is delicious. It's only 4.2. It's a session ale, but it's so delicious. Oh. And what's so good is I think it's on special at Dan Murphy's for this month. It just started today. And I went in and Checked the list and grabbed it because they didn't even have the signs up or anything. And I'm glad I found it because that's delicious. That's a really good beer. Well done. New Zealand, they're pretty good at a lot of things. Fiery uh, Maoris, they're great people. I love the Maoris. The New Zealanders are usually pretty good people. So anyway, all rounders, the New Zealanders. And they're that good that they can go to Thailand any time they want with no visa. How good's that? Piggy Muldoon, thanks for that. He was Piggy Muldoon, gave some cows to Thailand, so he let them have a free visa. All right. Well, I'm going to have some lime. This is off uh, Friends Garden. And we've got a little bit of salt there. And we're going to whoop it in. Oh, sour. Ooh. Wicked. Mmm. Oh, that lime. Lip sip sucked, I reckon. Well, I didn't. I had to suck, lick, skull, suck. 
I don't know what the fuck that's all about, but anyway, it was yummy. Now, this tequila, you don't actually have to do that. It is so smooth. You can have shots of this and go, actually, oh, I like tequila. Because when you have cheap tequila, it tastes like vomits piss. Vomits? What? Dog's vomit. Oh, I don't know. I've never tasted that. Oh, I smelled it. That's enough. All right, so we've got to get on to this. That's a beauty. So I'm going to make up a, a bit of a... It's almost... You're almost better off just having a little straight ones. And maybe you don't have the lemon. But what I had before was I just had a little one. With a little bit of... Um, Lime and a bit of mineral water. And for all you suckers that think tequila is no, doesn't taste any good and it's not a good mixer, cheers. Because I tell you, it's a fucking ripper. Mmm. High class, high quality. It's like having a really good gin. It's just yum. And this beer is beautiful. And these little sippers. The little sippers. Oh yeah, that's yum. That's probably the best tequila I've ever had. And I've had quite a few. I've been in Mexico three times. Uh, spent four months in Central America on one trip. And then come back through and also did another trip years before that so i sort of know mescal i had a lot of worms and tequila and it was not very good it's really crappy it's fucking horrible and if you ask me it's fucking horrible just fucking horrible but this this is delicious this is what we're talking about this is happy days I don't know what to drink anymore. 